Hey guys and welcome back. As you know, I'm gearing up for hay season 2021. First cutting grass hay. I'm a little nervous to see how my equipment's gonna handle, so I have been so busy trying to get everything in order, tweaked and ready to go. So today's video, I'm gonna show you another crop that we are looking at for our farm. We're gonna try it out, see how it does. So put your comments below on that as well. Also, I'm gonna show you a little bit more on the trailer that Eric's working on for hay season. It's a double white trailer that Eric converted into a hay trailer. So put your comments down below on that and wait to see the progress over the next couple of videos. A little tough. We went to work digging the holes. We decided to tag team it, and Eric went down the line, breaking open the soil and taking the sod off the top. Then it was up to me to make the hole wide enough and deep enough to be able to plant the trees in. Eric definitely made it look easy, and I still think he had the easier part. The soil underneath was pure clay, and as dry as it's been, all you could hope to do was chisel out the hole. Now you're probably wondering why we didn't grab the backhoe and bring it over here to use. I asked Eric the exact same thing, to which he replied, we need the exercise. I think what he's really trying to say is I shouldn't have eaten that four pound jar of jelly beans, and I needed to work it off. Okay, so it's taken all day, but we dug all 20 holes and we may have a few more to go next week if we get more trees. So um, here's what we have. So we've got I think eight trees running down this way and they're going to stop right there and then we're going to have another group of 12 trees come down. Um, you can actually see the pot down there. It's a black pot from there all the way down almost to that maple tree. So pretty much what we're looking for is we're going to have flowering trees in the springtime lining the driveway on both sides. So as you pull in, um, you're going to see all the beautiful flowering trees on this side and then on this side. And then it's going to kind of bring you up to the house. So it's just like traveling the eye along the driveway until you get to the house. So we'll probably have a couple more. We're talking about putting some where that bush is down there and just kind of coming along that last curve. We want to leave this area right here open because we do drive equipment through here. So yeah, and then in the summertime, these will all be lined with beautiful fruit, which I have no idea what we're going to do with that much fruit. But, you know, put it in the comments down below what you think we should do probably be doing pies and jam and canning and selling at farmers markets I guess so I we'll see you want a peach pie yeah. no actually I want a peach peach cherry, blueberry you want a fruit pie yeah so Pears. we so we could do cherries 
We could do plums, peaches, nectarines. Uh, what was the other one that we needed for that? Plums for? Plums are good in pies. It's a stone fruit, so it has that same sweet, slightly sour taste to it that nectarines and peaches have. Well, plums are the purple ones, right? Yeah, yeah, usually. They come in different colors, though. Plums are good. Yeah, plums are really good. They're good in pie. I was thinking prunes. No, those are the dried up versions. Those are the ones that old people eat to go poop, right? Well, I fed you some this morning in your breakfast, so I don't... Well, I'm getting old, so I need help with my bowels. <laughs> Is that why you lay on your back in the birthing position? Yeah, sometimes if you hear me yelling real loud, it's because I need some more plums in my diet. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why Eric does not fertilize the hay fields, because he just doesn't produce enough. All right guys, so we're gonna attempt to weld this back panel on today. I don't know how good it's gonna go. Um, I'm running a pretty long extension cord. It's a heavy duty cord, but we'll see if we get some amp blast. So we cleaned all this up. Weld both sides up. How you guys doing today so we just got back from the lumber mill we got back from the lumber mill and got our decking for the hay trailer um, I went with white oak and it's one by six that actually measures a little over an inch eight foot lengths so supposedly the white oak is more <laughs> rot resistant this stuff costs uh, $300 so yeah we'll have about $800 into the trailer it's gonna be 37 foot long and uh... oh hey how are you hey. doing how you doing oh you got the dogs underneath your feet I do <laughs> are you getting her mama are you getting baby puppers So today we're going to work on some bracing for the trailer before we can put the wood on. And I have an idea I'm going to try and it might be a good idea, it might be a dumb idea, but we're going to try it anyway. So here's my idea. I have a ton of this pallet racking. Um, they're 16 foot sections. Um, so instead of buying a couple hundred dollars worth of steel, I have this this stuff laying around and I bought it dirt cheap so I think I'm gonna cut this up and use it um, I'll have to cut these bracing out and I need to cut each section 75 and a quarter then it's gonna get welded in between here and then I'm gonna run these braces here this is also part of the pallet racking down the center. So let's see how this works. So the last time I was out here grinding the metal and cutting it, even with safety glasses on, I still got a bunch of crap in my eyes. So I'm going to try these goggles this time and it wasn't any fun, you know, getting all that crap in my eyes. So see if this works any better.
75 and a quarter. Man, I wish I had my marker. tomorrow for some more video all right guys it is planting time today a little breezy yet but it is gorgeous so it's the perfect time to get these planted oh you just love this nice weather don't you oh you gotta eat the grass oh it's that tasty grass oh yum oh yeah yum now we had a discussion First off, how big to make the holes? I read online it's supposed to be twice as wide and twice as deep. That's a lot of digging. So this is what we came up with. So with the two varieties of apples that I have planted, that I'm going to plant, I have Golden Delicious and I have Wine Sap. They both need an alternative pollinator. And Gala will work for both of them or I could go with a white crab apple. So I have to find one of those two trees and then I think I can put all three of them up by the house. Planting fruit trees along the border of the driveway has always been an idea ever since we first made the driveway. We thought it would look really pretty and we would like to have the fruit as well. So when a lot of fruit trees came to auction locally, we decided to snatch it right up. But here we only plant about 23 of them. We planted our wine sap apple, gala apple, yellow delicious apple, queen and cherry, montgomery cherry, stanley prune, italian prune, santa rosa plum, kefir pear, and jew pear, flavor top nectarine, reliance peaches, and there was one more peach variety but for the life of me I can't remember the name of it. But all the fruits we planted today are selective for cold northern climates, so they should do just fine in our Michigan temperatures. Alright, so now I have to scrape out some of the manure from the tractor and put it in the bottom of the holes. Um, the argument between me and Eric was, do we put it in the bottom of the holes or do we put it on top of the hole? Eric said on top, I say in the bottom. You know, we each read different articles, so the problem with farming is that everybody has their own way of doing it so which way is correct it's really hard to figure it out and you can research tons of articles and still find so many different ways to do it so at the end of the day maybe we'll just do both this is kind of an experiment to see how well it will actually grow on our property in this soil if they do well we might consider expanding our production maybe even into a small u pick sort of orchard but for now i think we're gonna focus on canning dehydrating and maybe selling the fruit at local farmers markets what do you think this is one more step into self-sufficiency on our small family farm uh, that is as long as i can keep these trees alive so one of the things that i had read online was that for potted trees you need to shake out the root ball before planting to allow the roots to really expand. Now depending on the hole, the soil in these holes is either pure clay or mostly sand. There's a few that are a mixture of sandy loam. So in my reading online, it said the peaches and nectarines will do great in a clay soil. So we're confident that these trees should do fairly well in their planted sites. Got my own, got my own farm. Farm gal here. Yeah. This is my this is 
was my I sweetheart like 37 years ago. And just just married her last year. Yeah, I so, know she died. Yeah. <laughs> Donna, so. yep. Brianna and Joe was wondering if she could hang out while we go to have lunch real quick. Oh, I don't care. She don't really want to go. <laughs> so there she comes, no surprise. <laughs> right. That's why I was like, so you're gonna have to ask, so Yeah, I don't care. Looks like Eric's got something rigged up here. Not sure what he's gonna do, but it looks exciting. Got the maple syrup tubing hooked up. I figured this would be the easier way than bucket. Yeah. <laughs> I took this out of the maple syrup. I, I see that, yeah. Are you a firefighter now? Yeah. <laughs> Probably gonna need a lot so you can soak that clay up. We might need two rounds. One right now and then one later tonight. Once that clay gets wet, it'll flatten down a lot more. Later on, our other neighbor across the street also stopped by to see what we were doing out front. Everyone just got excited that we were putting all these holes along the driveway. <laughs> upcoming videos such as preparing new ground for another type of hay grass that we're gonna do this year it's something that Kayla White Korzik is also doing this year so we kind of have that going on between the two of us and we also help out one of the neighbors down the road with a bit of a crappy problem and of course there's the cabin videos I have not had a chance to get through editing those but I am still picking away on that I apologize if I have not been on social media a whole lot I haven't been on YouTube a whole lot. I've just been trying to bust my butt getting all this stuff done because it comes down to the wire and you gotta get it caught. Oh my goodness. Oh, you got it. Good job. Oh, wow. You did pretty good. Huh. Oh my goodness. 